Now, one of the most controversial political figures from the formative years of modern Russia has died near Moscow at the age of 53. Yegor Gaidar was one of the key architects of the radical economic reforms that were imposed across Russia. He was acting prime minister during 1992, where his policies were labelled as shock therapy. They allowed prices to be set by the market. That led to hyperinflation that wiped out many people's savings. Gaidar was also one of the masterminds of the privatization and breakup of state assets under President Yeltsin, which led to a few people making vast fortunes. Gaidar died earlier this morning while working on his latest book. He always defended his reforms, saying leaders should never be afraid of making unpopular decisions when the good of the country is at stake. You do not repeat, have to repeat the Kerensky mistakes of just wanting to be popular. You need to convert your popularity, your political support and support in the measures which are needed to avoid catastrophe and the civil war. Which will be unpopular. Which uh, would then be unpopular, but then to prevent it you have to be, to, to take unpopular measures. And then all of your life and after you're dead you'll be accused that uh, you have done these and these and these unpopular measures. Death. Yes. If you would not do this, uh, the uh, political system would be crushed, and also you would be accused uh, for this crash. But for, for the, any politician, it's difficult still, even understanding this, to do the things that are unpopular, because your political talent tells you that you have to do the things which the people